We do a lot of Father Time episodes, mm. but I want to give some credit where credit's due. Okay. So I'd be remiss if I did not mention Talis Latis and Evan Dunham. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know, but they both retired this past weekend inside okay. the Octagon and said that's their last fight in MMA. Okay. And I am applauding them. I'm standing up. Oh, I am very happy okay. for them. Yeah. How do you feel that a fighter is doing that on their own terms as opposed to kind of getting kicked out of the UFC and then... I mean, this is what we talk about day in, day out, you and I, which is... And I, I, I recognize the fact that it must be hard. I yes. mean, you've done something for such... Both of these guys have 20 fights, I think, in the 20 UFC. 20-plus fights in the 20 UFC. 20-plus fights in the UFC. Yes. So when you've been in the UFC for so long yes. and it's so much of who you are as a person, of right. course it's difficult to walk away. Right. But if you're a responsible adult, yes, then you know when your time has come, yes, and you also believe in the fact that you have. I'm getting real serious in this video. No, right? you, you're good. You but should. you should know that, like, this is one opportunity. You yeah. leave it behind, and new opportunities will make themselves available. Yeah. Maybe that's a little bit of optimistic goop de goop. Yeah. But I say I think it's great. I mean, you fought. You did a good thing in the UFC. Right. Give it a break. Right. Do something else. Yep. And go out on top, or at least with your health on top of where it should be. So and I'm, I'm with thrilled. you. I'm thrilled. I'm with you there too. I think these fighters, they've already made their mark in MMA. Mm-hmm. They're not in the top ten at this point, no. and I don't think they will scratch that any t- anytime soon. Again, no, yeah. So it's kind of like there's only one way they can go, and unfortunately, I think that's downhill mm-hmm. because the sport, as we talk about all the time, is evolving so fast, and you got these young and up and comers. Mm-hmm. Raj's radar mm-hmm. that are really taking over the sport. So I think they're going out on their own terms. Props to Talis Leites. He got the victory. Mm-hmm. He beat Hector Lombard. Who's a tough competitor, right? Who is so a tough competitor. Another guy that yeah. maybe look, should look well, into yeah, retiring yeah, yeah. as well. We'll but talk, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk about that off camera. But, yeah. but, but props to Talis Leites for mm-hmm. kind of saying, you know what, I'm going to go out on my own terms in front of my home crowd. Mm-hmm. And even Evan Dunham, you know, he's on a two fight losing streak. But that's really courageous to say, you know what, I got knocked out twice in a row. The last one being a Trinaldo, who's mm-hmm. a tough guy, but also a top 15 fighter. True. So where are you, where's your career going? Yeah. And you're not getting any younger either. I think to that point, I mean, I think the aspect that we'll have to watch out for is do these guys stay retired? Because maybe not so much in MMA, but we've seen in other sports where people retire. Yes. Roy Jones, yes. come back. You know what I mean? And so... Hopefully they basically live up to their word yes. because this is really commendable and that will set an example I think for other fighters to be like, oh, I can announce my retirement and just walk away right. and be at peace, but we'll, I know it's tough, so we'll see, I guess. I just on. hope they don't end up in bare knuckle fighting championship and I think we can both agree on that. We can both definitely agree <laughs> on the fact that, yeah, I hope that does not happen. What do you white folks think? Are you happy for Evan Dunham and Talis Latest? Let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you at the next video. Oops.